Um, being in the midst of a calling is to, uh, we could say it's to, to be called out of the, the comfortable place that you've grown into. And it can be in the form of inspiration. Um, it can be in the form of uh, emotional, spiritual, physical challenge. Um, but something that calls you out of, or we can even say pushes you out of, uh, the, that which you've gone, gr grown comfortable and familiar with. Um, so we can think of developmental callings like, you know, age 14 and 15 there's this natural developmental passage where the adolescent begins to turn inward to themselves away from the the family unit and then look toward peers uh, to help them navigate across this threshold uh, we call adolescence um, and it was often in that place in that first developmental place that elders would meet that response, typically not their family members, but other elders would respond to that uh, gravitational pull that begins around that age. Um, other periods of life, we could say developmental changes, you know, in the early 20s or late 20s and 40s, and you know, every decade has its way of nudging us into a little something different than what we've been in. And, um, and then there are periods of, uh, as I say, challenge or discomfort or illness or accident where things happen that force us uh, to re-examine our lives. Um, not every difficulty or challenge we could say is a rite of passage. Um, I think there are other elements that have to be there to met, meet the calling. Um, and that's typically a guide. when when. You, you look towards someone else, someone that's been further down the road, that knows what you're going through and can help you navigate the territory. Um, again, to see things more mythologically than psychologically. So this calling um, is where you're, you're reaching beyond the familiar um, because of some, something, um, and you're usually met. Um, by uh, someone that can help guide you across that, that threshold, that territory.